these batter boards are up, um, you're going to pull a string line right down where your your two front posts are or your front stakes that are parallel with the road and you're going to put your screws in line them up with them stakes and put your line in after that you're going to pick a corner and we're going to go with this back corner and we're going to line our screw up on our batter board with the stake here and run our string line there and now we got two string lines so we got the corner of the building we got to figure out how one square it is and make it square. And how you do that is what we call a three, four, five. <clears throat> you come off your string line on this side, four feet, and you put a little, this is mangled, but it was, was a, a clear single thread. And we used to use marker, but what we found is you gotta alter it and you'd have so many marks it'd screw you up. So you tie a string line around this string line and you just move it back and forth, okay? So four foot there, and then you come off this wall for three feet, and then you go five foot here. And, well, because we already went ahead and got all this perfect, it's five foot. But if it wasn't five foot, and say it was four foot 11, you would go down to that end and you would move your string line over an inch. And then you'd come back over here, and you'd make sure you had five foot. Because this is such a big building, we uh, 9, 12, 15 it. So you go 9 foot, 12 foot, and then you should have 15 feet. And that's how you square it. And then after you got this corner square, then you go over and you do that square. So we went over and we, we squared this one, a 9, 12, 15. And after we did that, we had our lines pretty good there and we measured off here and we were about an inch off it was like supposed to be 40 foot it was like 39 11 which an inch and 40 foot I'm really not concerned with it you know if you want you can just bring your ends in a little bit but we did our diagonal and we were an inch off I think an inch is tolerable and that so after you got all your three, four, fives done, you go corner to corner with your tape measure, and you should have, in 30 and 40 feet, you should have 50 foot from corner to corner. See how that three, four, five comes into play? In the corner, it's three, four, five. And we got 30 foot by 40 foot building. And then when you measure your diagonal, it should be 50 foot on each diagonal. Three, four, five, right? So after you get all your lines up, then what we did was we went ahead and we held a tape measure right in the corner here. And because these lines are the outside of our six by sixes, we put, um, we put some spray paint right on the inside where the hole's gonna go. And then we held a tape measure and I'm going every 10 foot with my posts. So we held the tape measure here. I came down with the other end, and every 10 foot on the inside of the line, we put a, uh, a dot with the paint. And the same thing with our middle posts. We did middle battle batter boards because we want our posts 15 foot in the center. We measured off here because it's 30 foot divided by 2 is 15. So we measured off our outside wall 15 foot, marked our line. That's where our hole goes, and that's where we pulled our line, and we did our holes. So, pretty simple. Then we went, I think the frost line is 18 foot, 18 foot, 18 inches here. So you want to go 18, at least 18 inches down. I like to go, I did 30, 30 inches on my depth. We're in Arkansas, but I did 30 inches on my depth so I could get eight inches of concrete footer in there. And then our pole is still well below the frost line. I like to be 22, 23 inches below, 24, because you never know, you know, like Texas, they had that deep freeze and everybody's water bursts and their, their poles were heaving. So you never know when we might get something like that. So that's it, that's it for now.